that one of the strengths is it really provides hope and insight into the future of her HPV, especially if strategic measures are taken from an early age. Vaccine hesitancy, as I've mentioned, is huge, and especially in when you're talking around a potentially uncomfortable topic, HPV is sexually transmitted, and young parents feel apprehensive around getting the vaccine because it's actually routinely offered to, to now boys and girls and in, in grade six. And so that's a tricky time to talk to parents around sexual activity in their children. But what strength was came out of my research was finding that if both men and women up to like 80 or 90 percent are all vaccinated, there is a potential on in sort of future future forecasts for how cervical cancer specifically could be almost eradicated completely in the future if both men and women get this vaccine. So that was a huge strength that if both men and women get this, something like cervical cancer can be eliminated completely, which was huge. A limitation of this article is undoubtedly that it was completely all about men. And so it, it did eliminate a women from my, from my population and it focused just on the men, which I think was important. However, as I've kind of touched on, HPV is both men and women combined. It affects everybody equally. And so a limitation was it didn't kind of bridge in any part of information surrounding women. So that was a limitation that, you know, future work should really look on college or look at the combination of men and women more together. And so that's, that and I'm curious to see in the next even five, 10 years where where HPV rates are after after all of this sort of new evidence has come out. Mm -hmm. I hope that that the messages and the understanding in this article really help shape the, the future for HPV related disease in men and women. Um, and you know, preventing another situation where a very young woman uh, needs to have a hysterectomy and, and done, or an, another male who has, you know, invasive oral or throat cancer um, can be avoided, then I think that this work um, has done its job and uh, educating uh, parents and, and, and providers um, is, is the main goal. And I hope that, you know, one person um, sees this and, and goes, wow, I didn't know something and, and takes that away is would be huge. So thank you for this. This is great.